In today's video, we're going to be cooking the Every Breath You Tikka Masala Burger from Season 2, Episode 9 of Bob's Burgers, titled Beef Squatch. So, what's cooking, Bob? Well, Chuck, it's the Every Breath You Tiki Masala Burger. <laughs> we start with a little coconut milk, mm -hmm. right? There it is. There's the coconut milk. No one cares. And then uh, some curry paste. You want me to even pick it up? Because no one's listening. Whatever, whatever. Just move it along. So, yeah, that's curry I'm paste. I'm bored up here! <laughs> <laughs> So the burger book today has pretty much given us a treat. Um, I'm really excited to make this one. I've been looking forward to this one for a while. I love tiki masala. I've never made it myself, but it's one of those sauces that's just like so savory and so like unique. So bold prediction, this is gonna be one of the highest rated burgers I've made so far. So let's just get started and let's make Ball Belcher proud. Ingredients time. We're gonna use some rice. I'm gonna use some jasmine. We're gonna start off by slinging in some curry powder, then some garam masala ground ginger, a chili pepper, a red fresno to be specific. Also some sweet peppers because we like variety and we're super cool. One large onion for my boys back home, some garlic cloves, we're gonna get leafy with some fresh basil, some yogurt that barely fit on the screen, a good fatty blend of meat for our patties, and then we're back to some spice with some cumin, some whole plum tomatoes in a can, and that pretty much covers everything I believe under the sun. So yeah, I think we have enough ingredients. What do you think? <laughs> I'm not gonna lie, it does look a little overwhelming, but I, I believe in us. Because at the end of the day, the dishes and the recipes that challenge us are the ones that are most fun and the most worth it. So we're not gonna let we're not gonna let the stack of ingredients stop us from achieving our dreams, right? So let's get started. So first things first, we're going to cut up this onion using this awesome feast on film knife that I got for Christmas. We are going to prep all of our veggies by mincing them up very finely. A food processor would come in clutch. Next we move on to our sweet peppers while I mesmerize you with my less than elite cutting skills. This knife was extremely sharp mind you and yet I was playing it fast and loose. My fingers are here for a good time, not a long one. Next we will begin slicing and de-seeding our chili pepper. Be careful not to touch your eyes while handling this bad boy because it was surprisingly pretty hot. We can now move on to prepping our patty. On this channel, we like to form our meat into a nice compact ball and then season it generously with just salt and pepper. I then roll the meat around to make sure every surface is coated like it's winter time in Alaska. But before we continue on, I wanted to have a quick conversation about Boss Burgers in general. Mostly the show is not really a story of progression, you know, a lot of the kids don't get older, Bob doesn't get any more successful, but I have been thinking about the question, would I want to see Bob become extremely successful by the end of the show? And I'm kind of torn, I don't, you know, I, I know that's not really what the show is about, it's about him sticking to his guns and, and doing things the way he wants to do it. and even though he probably could sell out and become a successful uh, restaurant owner and chef or whatever, but he likes to keep it small. He likes to keep it and do things exactly the way he likes to do it, which is what is beautiful about Bob's Burgers in the first place. But at the same time, you know, as the series comes to a conclusion, it would be nice to see Bob finally achieve his dreams to become successful on his own terms. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comments. Let's get back to cooking. 
With the universe depending on us, we returned to the cooking process by rinsing, prepping, and then subsequently cooking our rice. You'll know when the rice is done when the water is absorbed, but the rice isn't sticking to the sides of the pot. It's now time for us to finally start on our tikka masala, beginning with cooking our onions. When they have started to become translucent, we can then add in our garlic. Next we will add in our spices, starting with our ground ginger, then our cumin, and then followed by some curry powder. We will then add in our entire can of tomatoes with their juices. We are going to sweat the tomatoes, which just means cook out the liquid inside. You'll know when you've achieved a good sweat when the lighter liquid starts rising to the top. Hopefully that doesn't sound too gross. We will then add in our garam masala, which is a very unique blend of spices and cinnamon. Reduce the sauce for a few minutes and let it cool down a bit so that we can add in our yogurt. The yogurt will curd a little bit due to the acidity from the tomatoes, but that's alright. It's all good in the neighborhood. You've probably been wondering when the peppers are going to come into play, and if you have been, well then buddy, you're in for quite the treat, because I'm about to tell you. We're going to saute them in butter and use them as toppings for our final product. We will then move on to my favorite part of the process, the cooking of the patty. All right, everything is done cooking, so nothing left to do but to build our burger and then go in on it. We'll kick things off with the bottom bun, followed by our juicy patty, and then a good helping of our tikka masala rice mixture. After that, we will lay down some fresh basil, and then finish it off with our cooked peppers. If 
this isn't the best burger I've made so far, I'm gonna be heavily disappointed because it just looks fantastic and it smells great. I'm pretty jacked to the tits. This is exciting. I'm going to go in on this burger. I'm gonna add a little bit more, I'm gonna add a little more sauce just before I go in on it. I'm gonna take a big bite and I'll tell you how it is. Bon appetit. Just unbelievable. It tastes exactly how I imagined it would taste. The notes of cinnamon from the garam masala, it's just salty and sweet and just so much flavor. Holy moly, this one, this was incredible. I'm gonna give this one a 9.85 out of 10. It's just something that you guys should definitely make. I'm excited to keep getting into more burgers like this one. So with that said, I'm gonna catch you guys next time. Peace.